What I'm going to talk to you about today in this short video is a conversation that I have on a very frequent basis with people who search for um, or search chemical structure. They will say, hey Anne, uh, here is my Markush structure and I can search Markush structures in SciFinder and I can search them in other places and so on. And I'll take a look at this and then I break them the bad news and I say to them, this is not a Markush structure. This is a generic structure. And the difference being, of course, that a generic structure, which is what we have here, this is what we have created. We can search it against Markush structures, but we can also search this against real known structures or substances as well. So when we draw a structure, we are drawing a generic structure and then we can choose to use that to search for Markush or for real existing substances. The Markush part comes in what you are searching your structure against. And if the database that you are, you are searching against is only real substances, then that is not a Markush search, okay? That is a generic structure search that you are doing. Now, let's take a look at this. So I have my, my structure here. I have a couple of variables in here, HY being a heterocycle and AK for an alkyl chain. So I'm going to um, search this first of all. So I see my substances is highlighted. I'm in SciFinder N. My structure is created right here and I'm going to run the search. And let's switch this to substructure. And in fact, we have 738 substances. So these are substances. They have a CAS registry number. They are a part of our substance database and they will come from the literature, but they will also come from um, catalogs or other sources or even at the request of individuals to create a CAS registry number. OK, let me get the references for this. So let's take a look what we have. And we only have five, so not a great deal of references. But as I mentioned, it can be that a lot of our substances do come from, you know, the non-literature sources. OK, let's switch now. So I'm going to go back to my substances. I'm going to open up the drawing window again. And I'm going to bring in that same example, so the same generic structure. But this time, I'm going to click this box here, Search Patent Markush. And now let's see what we get here. I'm going to switch to substructure again. We now have a total of 68 Markush structures that our generic structure falls within. Now, the Markush structure is generally present in the claims of a patent, but it could also be in the disclosure. These Markush structures could represent tens, hundreds, even thousands of potential uh, structures, but it does not mean that these really do exist, okay? It does not mean that they really exist. So this is what we have when we search against the Markush, the patent Markush structures. And in fact, what we see here, if we look down through some of these records, we can see precisely why our structure was retrieved. So we are looking now at the um, Markush structure. And in fact, we also see in some cases a little bit more information that describes what this Markush really entails. Now, if we keep to this one right here, one of the new functionalities or the new features, of course, with, with SciFinder N is if I wish to now view the reference detail, I now have the option for my right mouse click, open link in the new tab. And if I click on this additional tab, I do in fact see, yes, this is concerned with heterocyclic amides as kinase inhibitors. And then I can then go ahead and decide, is this relevant or not? And, and so on. Let me go back to my list of Markush structures. And one other thing that I want to mention while we are here is as part of SciFinder N, Pattern Pack is also there. This is also included. And what I can do now, I know that this is in claim one. If I go to Pattern Pack, 
I can come down to the PDF. There is also PDF Plus and Viewer. We will discuss those in a, in a separate video, but I'm going to click on the PDF itself. OK, here's the, the record. I know it's in claim uh, one, so I can scroll very quickly down right down to the to the claim section. So we're right down to the bottom here. Uh, here we go. Right here. So here is my Marcus structure as it's represented in the patent itself. It may look different when you see it in SciFinder, but this is how it's represented in the document. But our indexers will apply the effort to reconstruct this Marcus so it means something to you compared to what you searched your structure with. Now, these PDFs are searchable, so Control F and Claims or Claimed will very quickly jump you down to this correct section if, if that's where you wish to go. Now, I'm just going to, for the last thing, come back to those uh, Patent Marcus structures. And if I take the references now, I now actually have 53 patent documents that my generic structure that I initially searched falls within the Marcus within these patent documents. So you can see there's quite a, you know, a jump up with the number of patent documents that I have now when I search as Marcus compared to how many that I got when I searched for them as, as real substances. So just to finalize up, when you do a, a search in, in SciFinder and you have a, 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 a structure or a generic structure that you are interested in, then you are able, of course, to search them both for real substances and also for the Marcus as well. The final thing that I am going to mention is if you do search for um, the Marcus structures, as SciFinder users see this as an introduction into the patent world. It's opening up new patent documents that maybe you will not have found had you searched as a uh, for the specific structures. Please do not base IP decisions on a Marcus structure that you that you may uh, or a Marcus based search that you have conducted in SciFinder N. We do have STN, which allows searchers to explore the Marcus in much greater detail than in, in SciFinder N. But certainly, please use this to explore new patents, new areas of interest that you may wish to, to find in, in SciFinder N. And that is your search tip for the day.